So I know that I said I probably wouldn't show you the painting anymore until it was done, but uh, I uh, wanted some more dopamine today, so rather than doing the labor of working on the background here, I decided to uh, reward my progress thus far. I've loosened up the water here a little bit. I've put a few specks in there just so that it looks a little more ripply. I um, think that works. What I've, what I've done now is I've laid in just highlights on the trees. This is really the step six that I often refer to. This tree and these rocks I'm considering finished now. The water as well. Unless something really bothers me after I live with it for a little while, it's finished. So I took really yellow ochre and white are my biggest friends now. So it's yellow ochre, white, a bit of uh, just a touch of ultramarine blue to, to, to make it appear as though through this generally grayish scene there is pure straight sunlight just licking a few spots. So we're catching the top of, you know, this cluster of foliage here, 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 and here, you know, and here a little bit as well. Here's its most intense, as you can see. I took uh, uh, burnt sienna and white and went fairly intensely a couple of strokes here just to, you know, it, it was there, but the value was down a little bit. I knocked the value up a little bit here. Then I went back to my yellow ochre and white, just yellow ochre and white. And very lightly, with, with not a lot of paint on my brush, dragged it across the surface of this. Let's, for example, this is a, you know, a layer of mineralizing quartz that's laying on granite or granitous material and and just the lights, the, the sunlight's just catching this. If I were to go pure white it would still be quite a cold color but because I added a hint of yellow ochre it warms it up and it appears as though sun is shining on it to my way of viewing it anyway. So that's why I've done that and I like that. Now we have now we have a bit of a glow and, and from here is really where the energy of the painting expands. This is where it all comes from. It's not maybe the most interesting, but this is kind of, you know, uh, the central point of the supernova, <laughs> visually. Okay, see you.